Hey folks, Cape Cass headed up the big hill in Bourne yesterday for a hard charging class in ice sculpture at Upper Cape Cod Regional Technical School. The mission? Carve a Venetian gondola from a block of ice. So Chip, what do we see here today? Well, the boys are working on a, a gondola for a function on Thursday night here at the school. That we're going to fill it with shrimp. So Chip, tell us about the world of ice sculpture. Something like this sitting on a, a table in a hotel ballroom. How much does it go for? Well, it could vary, two fifty to three fifty, depending on you know who's selling it and how much details in it and time to deliver it and time to set it up. Now, can there be mistakes along the way when you're well, doing I'm, one of these I'm, things? I'm sure there's going to be one today. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, what kind of things do go wrong in the world of ice sculpture? Oh, uh, wedding's late, sculpture melts, uh, they want it set up in the direct sun, they want it put in front of a window in the sun, um, wind is bad, humidity's bad. For the students, this is something extra on their resume that could help them get a job somewhere. Absolutely. Now, what got you interested in this? Um, well, when I came to the school, I noticed that they had an ice carving uh, club, and um, I don't know, it just looked really nice to do. What's the thrill of it for you? Um, I guess using the power suit tools, it's pretty fun. Chris, what's this all about? Just, just different. It's, I, like, I like to be different. It's fun. I mean, in an hour you created something of beauty here. That's got to be a thrill. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. It's like no one else does this around here. So. Right, it's like a one-of-a-kind thing, plus you get to use a chainsaw. Plus, yeah, make people happy and stuff. It's cool. I mean, you can imagine a party where someone's coming along with and seeing the shrimp in this beautiful boat and saying, you know what, this is a pretty good bash. Yeah, I would want one in my party. 